this week on the Thrasher's Roundtable, our panel of daredevils discusses uni races only for super ladies. It's like Sega will board it. Down the track, double roll, fly! How did you find the two-player action? Man, I was hauling Ginyan on the brawl, but I snapped Flip City. It's the dude's time. Cool action, triple flip, back in the pan. Well, it appears then to be totally slamming. Next week, doing triple flips without tossing your comfits. Good night. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J. Today we are checking out Uniracers. It is a Super Nintendo classic that is actually a little unknown, or not even unknown, but kind of uh, underappreciated, I guess, maybe. Look at that awesome title screen, by the way. That flew away way too fast the first time through. In fact, it doesn't even linger long enough now. Getting a little intro here. So this is a game about, you guessed it, Uniracers. And, well, not Uniracers, Unicycles. And their challenge to race each other into extinction. I guess in this game you get bonus points for doing little jumps and twirls and spins. As you can see, it's a 2D racer. It has this sort of claymation feel to it, which I think comes about because it has pre-rendered 3D graphics from back in the Super Nintendo era. You saw this kind of imagery, or this kind of graphics on things like Donkey Kong Country and so on, and uh, we'll be getting into that a little bit as I play. Let's go ahead and actually uh, play here. I love this bouncing arrow. It looks so, like, real. The the whole 3D stuff in the Super Nintendo era is uh, has this like really interesting charm to it. It totally does remind me of Claymation, though, which if you don't know what that is, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be talking a little more in a minute, but... <laughs> okay, all these uni unicycles have different names. You've got Alice, Ken, Carol, Craig, Tony, Colin, Malcolm, Amy, Martin, Mike. They are literally just different colors. Too bad there's no J. I kind of feel like a big ripoff if there's no J. Okay, so... Do they have different stats or anything, or is it literally like different colors? Like, this is an Andrew Blue. Here's a more Melissa Yellow. We call this a Malcolm Teal. Um, what name should we be? What's closest to J? Well, Amy, Amy's one letter off. It just needs the J instead of the M, and then swap the A and the J. Or the A and the M. Let's go with Amy. I have a good feeling about Amy. We want to be Crawler, Shuffler, Walker. Wait. I don't understand any of this. Snail to turtle. Both are slow, usually to denote slow tracks. So why is one slower than the other? I guess snails are technically slower than turtles. But then, like, at the next faster speed, you have, like, a hedgehog? What kind of animal system are you working on here? And you end on frog. That doesn't make any sense. I mean, frogs are kind of fast, but they're more known for jumping. These things are definitely not fast. Very confusing uh, way to denote your courses. Pick a track. Um, okay. Dragster? I don't want to go to Monster, sounds too intimidating. Let's try Dragster. And I have no idea what the buttons are. Part of the fun of these old Super Nintendo games is, hey, there's only so many buttons. How bad could it be? Let's just freaking win wing it. So here we go. Okay, this jumps. Um, oh, okay. We can, uh, so you have to jump with the B button, and then you can press the uh, L and the R button to kind of do some twirls. And that's all I've got so far. Okay, if you just keep twirling, I guess it's good. This is like the simplest course ever. I don't have to do anything. Did I just win? Okay. Well, I mean, I guess it's a good beginner course. My Una uses cycles all happy. Amy kicks some butt. Someone, I, it was Amy versus someone and someone and someone. Look at that little bouncing check mark. This game has so much sort of energy. It's kind of, it's kind of actually exhausting me. It's exhausting to watch the menu animations on this game. So this is, I suppose, what unicycles. This is like their their life goal is to twirl around, do stuff. Wee! We got a double roll there, buddy. Oh, shoot. Whoa! Okay, uh... It is actually surprisingly tricky to... Oh, God. Oh, no. No! Okay, we've totally lost this race. Like, severely. Ah! Oh, God. The, like, left-right thing is really confusing, actually. 
Whee! I could have gotten a triple there. I wonder if, we're, if it's even possible to catch up to this dude. I feel like it's not. When we go upside down here, that part's tricky to me. So I'm still learning, still trying to get used to the... Whoa! whoa! Wait, I did a twist somehow. How is that a thing? Oh my god. So Amy's having a rough start here. The unicycle's trained for this. But uh, I guess she was lax on the old train and circuit. Just even landing those is like impressive to me. But okay, so obviously, did we come in second? I came in loser. The other one's dancing. <laughs> so what would you call these? Uh, pers There's like a word for this. Stuff personification. Um, when you introduce animacy to inanimate objects. Oh God, what's the word that I'm looking for? My God. Anyway, these like lifelike unicycle thingies here. Um, I don't know about you guys, but it does kind of remind me of Pixar. And it reminded Pixar of Pixar too. Because Pixar did not, oh, we're just doing stunts now. Okay, so this is where I get to practice doing my stunts. Okay, so holding the holding the Y button allows you to like rotate. Interesting. Wow, interesting. Okay. So I don't know quite understand what Y does. I guess it like flips you 180 degrees. Oh god. Draw. Okay, I guess it draws when I did just don't do good enough. That's okay. Um, anyway, this this whole style kind of reminds me of uh, Pixar. And it reminded Pixar of Pixar too, because Pixar went ahead and sued Nintendo over this game. They said that the unicycle characters in this game stole a... They kind of like plagiarized a short film that Pixar had made. And uh, basically, they blocked Nintendo from producing this game. So this game, it produced 300,000 cartridges when it was first released, and it has never produced a single one after that. Part of Nintendo losing the court battle that they agreed to never produce another copy of this game. Which is actually crazy if you think about it. Like, Pixar sued a company because they made a, a unicycle character. And I've read a little bit about this. I'm not the most well-read up on this. But apparently the developer of this game is quote, has been quoted as saying, you know, like, basically Pixar thinks they own uh, any sort of um, computer animated unicycle, and that's why they sued us. Because they definitely did not rip off Pixar for this, so. There you go. I mean, I love Pixar, I like the movies they make, but uh, damned if they weren't kind of jerks to the people behind Uniracers here. Because this is, like, an interesting game. Whee! Okay, that didn't work. I'm trying to do the... Ooh, there you go. Didn't get any points for that, though. Ooh. Winner! Yeah, we kicked his butt. He's just, like, bashing his face onto the track. <laughs> I love how my opponents are just someone. Yeah, just someone. Wait, if we go to bronze, okay. Maybe we have to pass them all. We'll just go through a handful of tracks here. We'll try the, uh, what is it, the, the turtle next? We graduated from snail to turtle. Feels like you're in like Boy Scouts or something. Whoa! Whoa, God! See now, the the spot where I'm gonna fail this game is the switching of directions left and right. This actually kind of reminds me of Battletoads. If anyone is familiar with the one of the near last levels of Battletoads, you're being chased by I think like an energy ball or something, but you're on like some, I don't even know what you're riding, some kind of like motorcycle that rides on walls, and you basically have to change and press left, right, up, down to coincide as the walls are changing directions, just like this. Like you have to hold left and then press right all of a sudden, and then hold right and then press left all of a sudden. And if you don't do it fast enough, you slow down and you screw yourself up. So that's what this reminds me of. Oh my god. And I am in a lot of trouble here. Get up the goddamn thing! Oh no! How do I get over there? Oh no. 
No, wait. No, stop doing that! Just go! Oh my god. I think I've definitely lost this. I've lost Monster. Now, this is a game that I could see, like, if you could get, like, really good at this, you'd be doing, like, tricks and jumping all around. Be awesome. I'm trying just not to die. That's all I'm trying to accomplish. And, I mean, I don't even know how you die. We're, like, racing in some, like, abstract land like this is the dreams of unicycles or the imagination of unicycles we're not even uh, in like reality anymore like how do these unicycles gain sentience anyway and then once you gain sentience as a unicycle you're going to spend all your time racing would you want to like you know explore the greater mysteries of existence like whether you have a soul or not no just going to spend your time twirling around going faster than your bros that's the dream of a unicycle. Speed. All I dream about is speed and going fast. I'm a unicycle. All right. Let's try a couple of these. We flew through those, like, surprisingly fast. Let's go ahead. Ah, you know what? We'll just try a sample of all of them. Why not? Two. One. This game totally feels like the 90s, by the way. Like, you can even just, like, look at the patterns used for the backgrounds and the music. This is 100% 90s-tastic. Whee! Oh, God. I just... Every time I try to jump, I wipe out. I should just stop trying. Well, well I'm not taking my own advice, because I totally am still trying. Boom! A double roll! Catch up to that, biatch! It is a little disappointing how we're not racing against actual other unicycles. Like, I'm Amy. I want to race against Steve or, like, Martin. Instead, we're racing against, like, some anonymous someone. Oh, God. Not even anyone good. Just some jerk. That's what they should name it. Not someone, but some jerk. Also, I really would have liked them to put a little more effort into the unicycles here. Just changing the colors of them. And also not, like, changing any of the, the stats or speed of them or anything. Come on, give them a little personality. Okay. So Amy came in number one versus no one versus someone who has no time. Man, if we're not in purgatory, I don't know what's up with that. Amy versus Bronson. Now we're in like chocolate land. I wonder what these unicycles race for. Is it like pride or like the love of a woman or is it like sponsorship deals? Like what motivates a, a unicycle to get out of bed in the morning and race? Also, how did these unicycles gain sentience? Gotta be some, like, science experiment gone wrong. Oh, no! That didn't help anything when it actually turned us totally in reverse. We've definitely lost this now. It's gonna keep doing these twirls. That's all I can do. Speed up! Oh, God, and we screwed up again. Well, this guy's totally gonna beat us. Enjoy your victory, your salty unicycle tears of victory. I'm gonna do like a triple, but I'm afraid to try. Oh god, again. I hate these things, because I always jump on them and it like reverses me for some reason. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I was a huge fan of Claymation when I was a kid. Um, a little thing called the California Freaking Raisins. I don't know if anyone here listening to this is old enough to know what that is, but if you don't look it up, it's uh, just some like raisins that they animated uh, using clay. And they're totally awesome. Also, Gumby. If you don't know what Gumby is, look him up. He was like a green dude who was made of Play-Doh. And he would have really crazy adventures. As a, as a kid, it was amazing. This guy, he looked like the Play-Doh that I had as a kid. And he would walk around and he would like change shape. And he would like encounter weird dinosaur creatures. And like Play-Doh would be doing stuff. I don't know. It, like, is it still a thing for kids today to be impressed by like Play-Doh? Is that, is that, is Play-Doh impressive or like Claymation? I don't know what it is about Claymation and Play-Doh and stuff. Oh man, I'm doing horrible on this. But it's just, it, it looks so visceral. I guess that's what makes it cool. Wee, Wee. Okay. I, uh, I, I much prefer the half pipe because at least I could do stuff. Oh God. Wait, do the full flip. Do the full flip. There we go. I can practice my Z flips. Oh, 
Eh, well, I'm a loser. That's okay. We we knew that already, right, guys? <laughs> Just kidding. You should have self confidence. Um, here's another interesting bit of trivia about this game, by the way. Guess who developed it? Uh, yeah, it's a company called DMA Designs. You may remember them as the geniuses that created Lemmings. Oh, and if you don't like Lemmings, they also created Grand Theft Freaking Auto. Yes, the company that created Grand Theft Auto started with uh, unicycles. Well, and Lemmings. Lemmings came out first. What, am I back in the same thing? Wait, I don't want to do this. Quiz. I don't want to do like another stunt course. Just fail at it. It's embarrassing for, all, for everyone involved. Let's do. Let's go. Go to infinity. Let's let's start moving through these tracks here. Try a handful of them. But yeah, DMA Designs, later renamed to Rockstar North, I believe they are a Scottish developer, and they had so much damn fun with Lemmings. They thought, you know what the next natural progression is? Um, how about unicycles? And then after that, they were like, hey, you know what comes after unicycles? Um, straight up vehicular manslaughter and crime. And then that's how they came up with uh, Grand Theft Auto. So there you go. Okay, I'm doing horrible here. Did one roll. Oh god. Did a Z flip. Oh god. A wipeout. Do I get any points for a wipeout? Those are, those are the things that I'm best at, by the way. These stupid white bows. I'm totally losing to this guy. Oh, come on, do, do some kind of trick, you idiot! Oh, man. Okay, I got a Z-flip. I couldn't even get seven. I'm, like, really bad at doing these stunts. Yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, oh, shoot. That, that thing just meant that he finished, not that I was done. Oh, God. You're really gonna make me finish? It's just embarrassing. I can't even do one. There, I got your stupid seven. Now what? There we go. Let me lose with some dignity here. Funny how they like force you to finish. They're like, oh, he's done. You've definitely lost, but uh, keep trying. Just do your best. Don't worry about it. Okay, to hell with this. To hell with. Screw you, turtle. I'm gonna go with uh, Walker or Hopper. What do you think? You know what? Let's just. Cut out the middleman and go right for the, the hopper. Actually, no, let's try two of these. Let's see, let's pick two good ones. Um, let's go with hill climb and shortcut. So we'll start with hill climb. Then we can say that we've tried all the races in this game. Okay, we're supposed to go the other way. Can deal with it, I can dig it. How was that a wipeout? Double roll. Oh no! Ah! Okay, hold on. I can do something really good here. Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Yeah, boy! Yeah! <laughs> I'm just doing, like, the same trick over and over again. I guess this is what you have to do, and you have to, like, sort of practice so much that you, like, just know how to, like, do all these different tricks. I'm pretty good at those. I can do like a roll and a Z flip combined into one. I got 39 out of 90, guys. <sighs> Turns out that uh, I'm much better at being a human than I am at being a sentient, uh, you know, unicycle thing here. We have no narrative in this game. They just throw you into the mix, expecting you to like accept the fact that unicycles uh, race for some unknown reason. I refuse to accept that, damn it. Tell me a story. Maybe, like, this unicycle stole the other unicycle's girlfriend. It's always about girlfriends. You know, like, I mean, Ganon stole Link's girlfriend. That's why they were fighting. Mario, or Bowser stole Princess Peach. How about maybe this unicycle's hit hard financial times, and he's, like, betting his, like, family farm to be in this race. He's, like, looking at me, expectantly. He's like, all right, we're not going to do any stunts. That's fine, I didn't want to do any anyway. Make me feel bad. For sucking. This could have been like a Sonic the Hedgehog game, actually, in a weird way. Like if they had gone without unicycles and gone with Sonic instead. I wonder if there's any bad blood between Pixar and uh, DMA slash Rockstar North these days. Where like Rockstar's like, you know, we'll be damned if we're ever gonna like make a Pixar game after what they did to us at Unicycles or Uniracers. Pixar can rot in hell. 
Although Frozen's pretty good. Everyone loves Frozen. I actually wasn't a huge fan of Frozen. It was okay. I don't know. I mean, I, I just wasn't as crazy about it as everyone got. Okay. I think we're ra we're actually winning this race. It's making me feel pretty good about myself. After a couple of losses, sometimes you just need a win. Boom! Oh yeah, we beat Toby. Toby the Enemy Unicycle. Besides, that's what his name is. It's showing us, like, statistics here or something. What is it even showing us? I don't fully understand. Time plotted by laps on shortcut. Okay. It's always a bad sign when a game shows you a graph after you beat a level, and you have just no idea what that graph even represents. Wario Paint! What the heck? Okay, we totally gotta try that. Wario. What's, what's Wario doing in a unicycle racing game? I mean, I guess it's obvious. It's interesting how that's how you speed up. You just do jumps. And also, it's really tricky to like do double and triple twirls because having never played these courses before, I have no idea how much air I have on any particular jump, right? Like, okay. Oops. Like, okay, we're probably gonna do a jump. Like, right there, I could have tried to do a triple roll, but I landed on the ground right away, so I really didn't have enough room to do anything. Yeah, wiped out there, that's okay. Get some speed. Some speed. This is, like, really all you can do. Whee! So I guess to do the more advanced moves, you definitely have to, like, play a track long enough that you, like, know. Like, you know how much airtime you're gonna get. Because this game is all about airtime, and you really have to, in a way, memorize the airtime of a particular level. Okay, let's try, let's try two more. Let's try Croc, and then we'll go for the last one, Hairpin Hill. Three laps on Croc. Do, do. Just that sound effect when it's counting down is, like, so 90s. Oh god. Ah. Damn it, I was banking on us going to the right. So I was holding right, and now I'm screwed. Die! Go, get away from me! Get away, get away! I guess if you just do enough of these twirls, you end up, you end up winning. It's all about just doing these, like, little simple twirls. Doing a double here and there, when you can. But when you think you can, you can't. You just bash your, the face of your unicycle off the ground. Oh yeah, we're kicking his butt. So I guess I can play this game. Decently. Decently enough to, like, beat the single player. I suppose this is, like, the hardest mode? I don't know. I would imagine they'd have you racing against a bunch of unicycles, but maybe not. Even the color of the ground, though, kind of looks like, uh, reminds me of Battletoads as well. Even the music, in fact. Like, there's a level in Battletoads where you have to climb a, uh, among uh, colored snakes. Oh, we totally messed that up. I would have had this game, and he's just totally going to beat me. Okay, well, whatever. So no way to catch up now. On. I'm doing all the rolls. Ah, we ended on a loser. <sighs> anyway, as I, was as I was saying, there's a level in Battletoads where you have multicolored snakes you got to climb around on, and they kind of look like the tracks that we were driving on right there. What does this graph mean? I have no idea. We just have a clock that's turning infinitely fast. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what? Let's, I'll race while I wrap up here, but I feel like we've kind of got a good sense of unit racers. I, I can render a verdict now. So first of all, what did we learn today? I think we learned that the nightmares of the unicycle are pretty damn abstract. Unicycles dream about one thing, and one thing only, and that is racing with each other to prove who is the best unicycle. Obviously, it's the one that does the most flips, Obviously, the unicycle that is known as Amy is one of the more amazing unicycles in existence. There's no way I'm going to get 107. I wish Wipeout scouted. Whoa, I got Roll City! That's hilarious. Roll City. 
Roll city in a Z flip. Oh, what? I was. Do I landed that. Oh, come on. Treble roll. I want to try and do like a bunch of these twirls. Double twist. Winner. Oh my god, I actually beat it. Holy crap. Surprise, so freaking prize. Oh, I guess we have to do another one while I wrap up, actually. Okay. Uh, croc. I love croc. Sure. So, we have, uh, we've also learned that, uh, you have it within yourself to do amazing Uniracer stunts. You just gotta believe in yourself. I didn't believe in myself, and lo and behold, I could do it anyway. So, you guys can too, guys. If you believe in yourself, you will make it as a unicycle in this world. If you don't, you might as well be a bicycle. And uh, that's, you know, that's my advice. Uh, pros of this game, easy to pick up, easy to play. Uh, controls aren't too bad. Um, graphics are good, very nostalgic, 90s retro feel. Um, definitely had a lot of personality in this game. You know, the cons are, you know, I wish the unicycles themselves had some personality. They were actually different. As it is, there's really no reason to pick one unicycle over another. I wish the races were bigger, maybe, with, like, more unicycles and... Um, I wish it was a little easier to see where you were going and where you're going to land on things so that you could actually plan your tricks more. Because I find that you really have to memorize a track to know how much airtime you're going to get so you can like plan a trick. And like doing the tricks, the controls aren't that bad, but it definitely is something you got to get used to. Like I'm still not very good at it. Uh, I think you need a lot of practice to get good at the tricks here. Which, you know, is fair. Some games need practice to get good at. That's just part of gaming. So. Yeah, so is this a game you should play before you die? Um, I would give this one... I'd put this one somewhere in sort of the maybe range. Where I think it is like a very interesting game. It's interesting it has that sort of history with Pixar, and so it was like a limited game. A limited edition game in a weird way. Only 300,000 were ever made. Although, interestingly enough, you can buy this online. It's not that expensive. You would think it would be far more expensive for a game but they only ever produced a certain number of copies, but... Anyway, um, it does strike me as a bit of a, a hidden gem on the Super Nintendo. So, yeah, I would say this is definitely one you might want to check out. It's not a must-play, in my opinion, um, but it definitely is, is a, a game that's uh, interesting and, and worth a shot, probably. And uh, that's my opinion. So, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed my little foray into the world of unicycles today. If you have, go ahead, give me a like, give me a subscribe, because there's plenty more games in that 1001 Games Just Play Before You Die book. And, you know, there's going to be a, a new video coming out soon, so you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, my friends, take care of yourselves. Don't trust bicycles. Only trust things with one wheel. And peace. I still can't figure this out. I've been staring at this for a while. The first two have shells, and this guy goes to spikes, and he has no shells. He jumps, he has four legs, and he has no legs? But it's no legs to four to four to two. So it can't be that. Number of eyes. The speed of the animals doesn't make any sense. What were they thinking? What does this mean? This is like, this is like a riddle. If you can solve this, you can solve the mystery of the Uniracers. Why did they pick these animals? What, what significance do they have? I don't get it. They might as well have picked like a peacock, the zebra, a, you know, orangutan. And like Spider-Man, I don't know. What do these animals mean?